part of it all When you and me deck the halls Making everything look just like it should at your tide The parcels are all under the tree Right where they should be Soon everything is crisp and fine morning guys welcome to today's video today I'm getting a Christmas going while the girls do school uh, Sophie helped decorate the tree the other day and they're not super into decorating believe it or not I'm getting that done while they finish up their school and I wanted to show you guys a couple of things so first of all this Christmas decoration is the very first thing that Sam ever gave to me I met him at the end of November 20 years ago at my on my birthday I went out for my birthday with some friends and I met him there and um, so he was in Toronto we lived quite far from one another and he went away for Christmas and when he came back he brought me this this is the first thing that he ever gave us so it's a cherished piece of our decorations if you guys want to see mine and Sam's story I have a um, video on our channel about that and the other thing I wanted to show you why this i also have a video about this on my channel it's one of the most amazing stories that i've ever been able to that i've ever told basically it's a little jingle bell with a santa on the top and it says sophia on it i also have one that says gabby gabriella but i can't find it somehow the gabriella one went missing but i still have the sophia one and it is such a huge part of my heart and this is why i have a story on our channel about it but Basically, I wanted a baby so badly. I tried to get pregnant for 11 months, and I'd never tried to get pregnant before. I never had any infertility problems. She was my fifth baby. I was 38. I was 39, actually. I was 39. I knew it was my last shot, and Sam and I wanted a baby so badly. And so we tried and tried and tried, and it took 11 months. And it was the. I found out I was pregnant in February. And so this is two months before I found out that I was pregnant with Sophia. And we went into a store. So I found this decoration that said Sophia and I found another one that said Gabriella. So obviously I bought the Gabriella one and I was carrying this one around with me. And Sam said, why are you buying that? We don't even have a Sophia. And I said, but we will. I know we will because I knew. I dreamed her. I believed her. I knew it with every single bit of me. And because I believed it and knew it, I bought the decor decoration. And then the next Christmas, we had a baby, Sophia. So, yeah, you guys believe. Absolutely, 100% believe in your dreams. Believe in you in what you want. And never, ever let it die. Because just like my little Sophia, your dreams could come true, too. It's too the Christmas decorations minimal this year because minimal. minimal it is minimal you don't think it's minimal yeah you know what you need to do mom put cookies in the cookie jar because look at this <laughs> it's this true it's kid proof that is kid proof cookie jar like this house is so small it's hard to do anything really fancy and I'm not a fancy girl so super minimal I'm happy with it Christmas is coming um last night for my birthday Kaylee gave me this pillow it says, what a Mike, wonderful... Jen, and Kaylee. Kaylee's family. What a wonderful world it would be if people had hearts like dogs. Um, also, they gave me some Epsom salt bath stuff, you know. To help your thighs. To help my thighs. After I wrote text, I wrote text. If you guys didn't see it, it's on this channel. Yeah, it was hard. All right, we're getting ready to go down. Gabby's been working in her boots, trying to I get them ready. To them she needs help to zip them up. Turn around here. All right, this is it. 
because she's wearing jeans today. Oh, there we go. So her problem is that they're so high. See how high they are? That hurts her right there. But everybody keeps saying that that's the right height, that she's going to, that they're going to fall, and they're already starting to fall. You see the wrinkles? Hopefully they fall enough. I actually find it weird, though, that they're too high because they're not, like, uh, extra high height. They're regular height with slim with a slim leg. So I don't know why the regular height isn't fitting her because she is tall. Ugh. They're all slimy. I oiled them. Are riding boots beautiful though? Like, doesn't it make you happy just looking at them? Until they get all dusty. There you go. Until they get all dusty. All right. In our arena. Uh, in our arena. I'm ready. Are you ready to go, Ruby? You match no. my Christmas decorations. Oh, you guys are going to grab food? God, Fuck she should you. kick her back. the mama between two kids it's super mild out so all the snow is melting and all the mud is happening come on let's do hay put them out of their misery They're eating. so Gabby's giving them all a cracker Stella's like I'll eat anything Gracie next Did they like it? See, I What's didn't. What's kind of not smart? Nina. What's kind of not smart? Nina. Give Willow one. Poor Willow. She was the first one to get them. Don't you feel loved with all those beautiful mares surrounding you? <laughs> run. No, don't run because running gets them crazy. <laughs> See? That's what I'm talking about. Gets them crazy. Now this is the most expensive time of the month when you have horses. It is the day that is the week. To this is the week that we pay for having horses. This is the week where the chiropractor comes. She comes tomorrow. And then on Thursday, two days later, the, the farrier will come. And yeah, so this you have horses and you know what the pain of paying all that money is. Stella and, well, I don't know if Stella will need them. But Storm will get his, his winter pads on, his ice pads. And that will really help him he's feeling the snow right now it's getting stuck up underneath his shoe uh, a third of a bale it doesn't change it's the same every single time a third is four flights that's how much they get at night
two horses for us to try. Why is it so difficult to try horses? I don't know. We waited too long now. It's winter. Is that what it is? So uh, basically, uh, uh, Fiona has a horse for us to try and Brandon has a horse for us to try. In the past, we've gone out on our own. How oh, this makes me shake my head and so many bad things happen. Like Before, we've gone out on our own and tried a lot of horses, but now we're waiting for our trainers. I don't want to push it because oh, I just want the- it, Mom. Come on. <laughs> what? Push it. Kevin's like, push it, um, because I'm not in a rush. Like, if we, she gets her new horse, like, in March, like, when we got Finn, or even February, I think that would be okay, but, um, so, uh, Brandon has a horse that's coming soon. I don't know when, and that's the trouble, is we just don't know when. We just don't know when it's gonna happen. We do have options to try, and we are gonna be trying them. We just gotta be patient, guys. We gotta be patient. I'm sorry about that. I shouldn't even mention it, but there's a gray, and there's a chestnut, and... <laughs> um, yeah, hopefully we're gonna get to try them soon. I don't know, but there is gonna be a new horse in the future. I just After don't know I when. break my shoes in. Yeah. We cannot buy a horse without Gabby breaking in her boots first because there can be no trying of the horses. Yeah. Gabby just told me as that we ran out of Stella supplement a week ago. That's super stressful to me because I know like a lot of supplements you kind of have to wean off. She gets a magnesium supplement and um, I think basically the way I believe it to work or the way I've read that it works is that if your horse is um, low in magnesium it will cause all these symptoms like being really spooky and stuff like that. And um, so then they'll need it and you'll notice a change on them when you start them on magnesium But if your horse is not low on magnesium, then you won't really notice a change And when we started her on this magnesium supplement, holy cow, she just like went so relaxed and so much more calm So she hasn't been on it for a week. I didn't know no change in her like she's been Really good still Gabby rode her after we ran out at the other yeah, barn. She had a cough Yeah yeah, and the last time I tried to wean her off of it to see if it would make a difference, she was insane. You guys know that picture that I posted everywhere, like um, on Facebook and on Instagram, where she was like in a rage and she was running by me. Yeah, that was when I tried to wean her off the first time, and I was like, no, that's not going to happen. It's a super expensive supplement. Like It's like $200 for a bucket of it, and it does last for two months, though, so um, $100 a month. So yeah, like I can't believe Stell is off of it. It also... Yeah, like I can't believe it. it. I'm in shock and she's doing so good. And actually her weight has been easier to manage. She's not like kind of going up and down and stuff. Wow. Yeah, I'm shook. Stella's off her supplement. I have to go up there and yell, emergency, emergency to Fiona. She's used to me crying wolf. Anyway. Shook. I'm shook. Like I can't believe it. First I'm screaming at Gabby, what do you mean? She learned that from me. Yeah, so I was screaming. I'm like, what do you mean? How could she be done it? You didn't tell me. And she's like, I forgot. I've never felt like this. What are you doing to me? It only took one kiss to know that you're everything to me. Everything I need. So tell me now, because I just have to know. Need is 
you like oh man there's so much we need to do to this farm there's so much like sometimes I feel frustrated with what we have and sometimes I feel frustrated with what we don't have like sometimes I feel the stress of not having the arena set up completely and sometimes I feel the stress of all the work that we still need to do while maintaining school and our house and our like and our horse stuff a lot it might not seem like it but it's a lot and it's just Sam and I doing it then I have to remind myself to be grateful like this arena is like nothing and I'm so grateful and I have to remind myself to love the things I have and not the things that I don't have or that I want all I need is you.